For all the new and curious designers who want to make your own functional models and machines, when you're assessing fitment on 3D prints, generally, there are three kinds of fits. Clearance, transition, and interference. Clearance, I'm sure you're familiar with. Either your shaft was too small or the hole was too big. Interference, you usually have to whip out the big hammer or press, or like you may have seen, heat one component or freeze another in order to get them to fit. But with a transition fit, everything comes together nicely. Those components have far greater demands and tolerances than what we can achieve with 3D printing, and it's those demands that really determine which type of fit you use. So today's quick design tip is to utilize crush ribs. The idea is similar to using packing in a vise or stuffing a pillow behind a headboard for when you have too much motion. Whatever variances your printer might have should get averaged amongst the ribs. Instead of having a cylindrical through hole, we add a bit of draft, about 1 to 2 degrees. So we add like 0.2 millimeter radius worth of ribs, straight up or down, from whichever circle needs to do the transition in. So after grabbing your parts from the printer, it's okay if you're nervous the first time. Just line the shaft up with the hole, be confident, and give a firm but secure press. Once everything is back together, step back and admire your work, because that is a perfect fit.